Hello, I'm Evan, I'm an engineer at Google. And hi, I'm Dan, an engineer at Pivotal. Google and Pivotal have been working together the better part of this year. This, sorry, Evan, it's the best part of this year. I agree. We've been working to bring Cloud Foundry to Google Cloud Platform, and a lot of folks on both sides were involved. Today, Dan and I are going to talk about some of that work. And we'll have more videos in the coming weeks featuring other engineers from both Pivotal and Google talking in depth about service brokers, logging, and monitoring. But for today, it's me and you talking to the internet about Bosch and Cloud Foundry. Now, Evan, you picked up some work earlier this year to bring uh, Bosch to GCP. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure. Bosch is a lot of things, but our initial focus was really simple, and that was to make it talk to Google's infrastructure. Um, we made that work pretty quickly. We achieved that goal, and then we set loftier goals. We wanted uh, Google to be the best place for Bosch to deploy applications to, especially things like Cloud Foundry. So um, those lofty goals that we set included adding support for Google's global network, uh, their global load balancer, and 30-second VM boot times, live migration, and preemptible VM pricing, just to name a few. And this work, you did it all with Pivotal, and it's open source. That's right. All with Pivotal. We spent a lot, of, a lot of time here in San Francisco with pivots like yourself. The work that we've done has been on GitHub since day one. Um, I think we hit a lot of those lofty goals, and I'd like to show you by spinning up a Bosch director on GCP and setting it up to deploy some software. All right, sounds great. So I'm starting inside the GCP console, and I've got access to a terminal here. And the terminal, uh, it's called Cloud Shell, and it's basically a free VM where I can uh, do things like deploy the infrastructure that Bosch needs to run. So we're using Terraform to do this deployment. It's provisioning all of the networking that's required for Bosch to run, and we've got this handy architecture diagram that basically shows uh, the, the bits that are there for Bosch to run. The most important thing is that we would have a Bosch director, and that Bosch director is going to have a private IP address. So it's not sitting on the public internet, but it is able to talk to the public internet through a NAT instance. To uh, talk to the Bosch director directly, we have a Bastion VM. So you're able to SSH into the Bastion VM or use SSH agent forwarding uh, to do things like Bosch target and Bosch deploy. So we use Terraform to provision all of this infrastructure. We do that from within Cloud Shell. And once we're inside our Bosch Bastion VM, we can use Bosch init to stand up that first Bosch director. Uh, this takes a little bit longer than we're showing in the demo here. We've sped it up for uh, time purposes. But at this point, we've got that global network. We have our Bosch director up and running, and we would be able uh, to deploy Cloud Foundry or Concourse or any other Boschified application. And Dan, I know you work on Cloud Foundry at Pivotal, and you did a lot of work to make it run really well on Google Cloud Platform. So would you uh, be able to talk a little bit about that work? Sure. Uh, one of Cloud Foundry's biggest selling points is its ability to run great on many cloud platforms, abstracting away boring details uh, while really exposing what makes a platform unique. To get it running great on Google, our engineers dove into the infrastructure to really understand its ins and outs and to figure out where Cloud Foundry needed to change to run perfectly. So we spent a lot of time focusing on networking configuration to get the fast and solid networking that Google's known for and bringing in other services like Google Cloud Storage for native blob stores. Very cool. There's a link below uh, where you can follow a tutorial to deploy open source Cloud Foundry on Google Cloud Platform. But Dan, I know there are other ways to get up and running with Cloud Foundry on Google. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, totally. Cloud Foundry is a highly customizable platform, even down to how it's deployed. On our Docs site at docs.pivotal.io, there's tons of information about how you can configure every part of your deployment with Bosch if you'd like more control. But if you're looking for something a little bit more hands-off, we've got Pivotal Cloud Foundry, or PCF, which comes with Ops Manager. It's, a, it's an appliance that lives in your Google project and can manage a lot of this deployment for you. Very cool. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Be sure to check out the tutorials in the description and stay tuned for the next videos in this series where other Pivotal and Google engineers will talk about tools they built, including service broker integrations, logging, and monitoring for Bosch and Cloud Foundry on Google Cloud Platform. Hey, be sure to check out this video of my colleague Vic showing you how to deploy a global multi-region Cloud Foundry installation. And look at the playlist for other videos in this series. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google Cloud channel.